Hello, third grade again. This is Mr. Martin coming to you from my living room. I'm the music teacher at SBC One. This is going to be our this is going to be day two of our recorder book tour, where we can practice um, the songs from our recorder book without actually having a recorder book. I'll project my screen so you can so you can read the music, and then I will play along with you so you guys can work on your recorder skills. Reminder for my SBC One scholars, uh, on Wednesdays and Fridays from 4 to 4.30, you can meet with me in my private Zoom meeting room to try to move up on your treasure tracker, either with just your voice um, and doing a, a voice pass or with your recorder as well. You can find that link in the, uh, in the description of the video down below. Just follow that between 4 and 4.30 on Wednesdays and Fridays, and you'll get a chance to try to move up. If you're not sure what level you're on, then I sent a Jupiter message to your parents um, that has pictures of our trackers before we left school, so you can remind yourself where you're at. So without further ado, I'm going to share my screen so that we can all so that we can all get started. Come on. Okay. So just as a reminder. We're always going to start with this reminder for our four-step uh, practice process. This is the process that you should use after you listen to me play the song once. Then you're going to pause the video, go through these steps, and make sure that you are ready to go before you try to play along with me. If you make mistakes on one of these steps, for example, if you're trying to sing the pitches um, in rhythm and you sing an incorrect pitch, you should go back and try this again to make sure you got this down. Because if you can't do this well, then you're going to have trouble doing the fingerings. And you can't do the the fingerings are where you're gonna have trouble playing it. So this is built so that you will be fully ready to to go once you finally get to playing the song. Okay. Also, a reminder: we didn't talk about this much in my first video. <coughs> excuse me, but um, but when you hear yourself squeaking, there are four questions you should ask. First of all, is my air too harsh? If your if your air is too harsh, it means you're blowing too hard. You need to use gentle air. Recorders are a very gentle air instrument. Never will we use harsh harsh air when we're playing recorders okay second correct posture i know that can be difficult at home sometimes because we don't have our chair we don't have the same chairs we do in the classroom we need to make sure you're sitting up tall you have your feet flat or tucked underneath you your recorder is down at an angle not straight out in front of you not straight down not doing anything silly and your left hand is on top i know if you're right-handed sometimes it's going to be tough to have your left hand on top but you got to do it um, fingers covering all of the holes do a squeeze check. For those of you who might not know, a squeeze check is when you do the, the fingering you want. You squeeze just a little bit with that hand, and then you take a look at your fingers. If you can see a circle on your finger, like you can see on my thumb there, then that means you're covering that hole entirely. If, though, if you only see a partial circle, I well, we can't really see that. If you only see a partial circle, circle on your fingertips, then you're not quite covering that hole, so you need to make sure to move your finger to cover that hole entirely. You also want to make sure that you, those circles are appearing on your fingerprints, not on your fingertips. Fingerprints, not fingertips. And then finally, is my tongue too harsh? Sometimes when we're practicing our two or our do tongue, we do it too hard, like tu, tu, tu. we want to go a soft sound, do, tu, 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 very soft, um, soft two or do sound when we're playing. So if you're looking for page one, for page four or page five, any of these, you should go back and check my previous video. That one went over numbers one through eight. Today we're going to be doing page six and possibly page seven. So without further ado, here we go for number nine. Number nine, listen to me play it, and then you're going to pause the video so you can practice with your four steps, and then we'll play it together. So here's number nine. One, two, ready, and. Before you pause, before you pause the video here, make sure you remember that these little rests are one beat. There's still a beat there, even though there's no sound. You still have to count a beat in your head. You just don't say it. Same with these over here. Now, as you can see, there are no pitch names written in there. So you have to start memorizing where they are on the staff. It's really simple if you do a little bit of work for it. The third line, one, two, three, is always B, just like it's labeled there. So that's a B. You can scan through that the B, see so if you can find any more. The second line, one, two, is always a G. So this one is a G here because that's in the second line, not the third line. 
And then the one that's on the space, on the second space, there is an A. That one's pretty easy to remember because we only know three notes on our recorder right now. And only one of them is a space note, and that is A. So make sure you're very careful on the pitches set of this one if you um, are unsure about uh, about remembering the note name, the pitch name. So be very careful on step two. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. And now here we go, number nine together. See if you can make it sound the same as mine. Number nine, one, two, ready, and. So that's number nine. Getting ready for number ten now. Getting ready for number ten now. A good a good trick for you guys is to always be counting in your head, especially when there's a rest. So when I'm getting ready for this rest up here, I'm going to be saying two in my head, even though I'm not making any sound, because it's one, one, two in my head, three, four. Got it. So here's number ten. Listen to it. One, two, ready, and. There's number 10. Go ahead and pause the video. Go through those steps. The rhythm can be tricky here, so make sure you're getting step one correct before you go on to the other two steps. So pause the video. Okay, and here we go for number 10. I hope you practiced. Here we go for number 10 together. One, two, ready, and. Whenever you're looking at these videos and you're reading one of these books, anything that is in yellow here, that is something that's new, and this is and that's the explanation for you. So if we look, take a look up here, half note is two beats long, not just one. So here we have a quarter note. Now we have a half note. It is two beats, but it's only one sound in those two beats. So when we're counting it, when we're counting this one, we'll go one, three, because beat two is hidden in there. That's the extra emphasis. One is beat two there. We don't say two because it's only one note. Got it? So for this one, for this one, I'm going to do step one, and then you're going to do step one with me, okay? And then I'll play them. So here's 11, step one. Here we go. One, three, four. One, three. One, three, four. One, three. One, three, four, one, three. Got it, so now I'll play it so you can hear it, and then you're gonna go through the process, and then we'll play it together. So here's 11, and you're playing. One, two, ready, and. Notice for how notice that for each of the half notes, I didn't do, I didn't do a two tongue on beat two because it's still part of that same note. I went for two beats without any tongue. So go ahead and pause the video now. Practice that. Pay special attention to those half notes. Okay, here we go. Number eleven together. Number eleven together. One, two, ready, and. To number 12. Number 12 is the silver level for your pirate treasure tracker. So, so this is a very important one if you're if you're trying to get move up on your pirate treasure tracker. So I'm play, gonna play this once, then I need you to go through the steps. Notice this one also introduces a half rest. It's the same thing as a half note, it's still two beats. It just is rest instead of 
instead of a note. So in this measure here, you go one, and then in your head saying three, four, because they're both hidden inside that half rest, but it's in your head. One, three, four. Okay, I'll play it, then you're gonna go through your process. Number 12, my turn in one, two, ready, and. Pause the video and then we'll play it together. Okay, here's number 12. Number 12 together. Watch those half rests. One, two, ready, and. So that is silver. That number 12 is the silver level if you're trying to move up on your treasure tracker. And finally, number 13 for this page. Number 13. This one doesn't have any half rest, but it has two half notes. It also introduced a breath. The breath here is just a normal place, is just a normal place to breathe because it's marked with a little apostrophe. The breath, the breath doesn't have any extra beats. You just have to you have to keep the steady beat going while you're doing it. Normally, there are, th there are four places you can breathe in a song. The beginning before you start, obviously. The end after you're done, obviously. Any rests, and then also breath marks. You don't want to breathe any other time. So in these breath marks, that's where you can breathe. So when I play it for the first time, listen to how I breathe there and still keep the steady beat, and then try to do that yourself when you're practicing. So here's 13. One, two, ready, and. Notice how I took breath of both of those breath marks, and that means steady beat did not stop. Okay, go ahead and pause the video, practice that. Here we go, 13 together. Make sure we're matching my breath. Here we go, 13, one, two, ready, and. Next page, the number, number 14. Now, number 14 is gold. So, number 12 was silver. Number 14 is gold. This one has half rest, half notes, and the breath marks for us all to keep track of. Okay? So, minor before, before I play. Each of these is two beats long. So, I'm going to have one, three, because beat four is hidden inside right here, and beat two is hidden inside right here. Same with this half rest, one, and then beat three and four are hidden in there. Make sure they still exist and you still say them in your head. There's just no sound. And then we have quarter notes over here, and we got this one breath right here. So here is number 14. Me first. One, two, ready, and. So notice that I count, you can almost see me count my, count each of those rests in my head. Go ahead and pause the video, practice this one. Again, this is the gold level. Okay, let's get ready to play it together now. Reminder that if, if you play it together with me and if yours doesn't sound like you want it to, it doesn't sound like me, it doesn't match me, it's okay to rewind and try it again after you practice a little bit more. That's perfectly fine. Just like we do in class, it takes more than a, like three minutes to learn a song. It takes a little longer. Here we go, number 14 together. This is gold. One, two, ready, and. So 
there you go. So that is number 14. That is the gold level. Okay, moving on to 15. Before we move on to that, let's take a look at this yellow, this yellow blurb here. The repeat sign. It just looks like just the it looks like the end of a song, except it has two dots. Without stopping, you play once again from the beginning. So I'm gonna do that when I play 15. I'm not gonna explain what it is, like how it's gonna work. You just need to listen and figure out what I did for number 15. Here we go, number 15. My turn, you're listening to hear how that repeat sign works. One, two, ready, and So when you're practicing now, make sure you practice with that repeat sign. And now when you're starting to look at songs, now that we know what a repeat sign is, you always have to check if there's a repeat sign or if there's not. Because if there's not, like there is up here on 14, there's no dots, then we don't repeat. That's just the end. But if there is two dots, that means we've got to repeat back to the beginning. So go ahead and pause the video for number 15. And here we go for number 15. Together, please, number 15, doing that, repeat. One, two, ready, and. You forget the repeat sign if you did you should, you should probably rewind the video and do it again so you don't repeat don't forget that repeat sign it's important okay now down to 16 twice at it. twice is nice why do you think it's called twice is nice sometimes they name these songs being really clever i'm going to play it once while i'm playing it doing figure out why is it called twice is nice here's 16 why is it called twice is nice one two ready and I think it's called twice is nice. I bet it's because there's a repeat here and you have to do it twice. Ha! Definitely funny that is. They're very clever. So take, uh, go ahead and pause the video, practice 16, watch out for those breath marks and for the repeat. Number, number 16, pause the video please. Okay, here we go, 16 together. Don't forget that repeat sign. Here we go, one, two, ready, and. It's important to note with repeat signs that usually it means just repeat it once, so you do it, the thing twice as a whole. Sometimes it'll say do it three times or do it four times, or it'll specify, but usually if it's not marked otherwise, you should just repeat it twice. You do it, you see the repeat sign, you go back, and you do it one more time, and now it's the end of the song. Okay, last two for today. Last two for today. These are kind of, these are going to be kind of fun, actually. So if you look at 17, 17 is a duet. A duet has two different parts that are played together. Notice there's part A and part B. They are different. They play at different times. 
So this is going to be an extra fun opportunity for, for you and me to play together. First, let's practice just the A line. Just the A line, not the B line, just the A line. Here we go. A line, me first, then you. Make sure we're counting all those rests in your head. A line, one, two, ready, and. Awesome. So there's the A line. Take a minute. Um, go through the process. Practice that one. Here's here it is again. One, two, A and. Now let's look at the B line. It's very similar. You just have rests in different places. I'm not going to play the B line. I'm just going to have you guys pause me now and practice the B line. Then we'll do it together. So go ahead and pause, practice the B line. Okay, here we go. B line together, please. B line together. Notice there's going to be silence at the beginning because there's rests. Here we go. B. One, two, ready, and. Did you catch that breath mark? If you didn't, you should probably try B one more time. Okay, so here, now here's what's gonna happen. Now this time, I'm gonna play A. I want you to play B. I'll play A, you'll play B. Here we go. I'm A, you're B. One, two, ready, and. pretty well. Now let's switch. So now I'm going to play B. You're going to play A. I'm B. You're A. Here we go. You're A. One, two, ready, and. Pretty cool playing a duet. We're going to leave number 18 till next time because I got something special we're going to try. See if I can play both parts of the duet. See what happens. I'm going to be honest, I've never tried this before. We're going to see how it goes, okay? So this recorder is going to be the A part. This recorder, the black one, is going to be the B part. Ready? Here we go. That you can't do that. So that's number 17 duet with me and you, or you could try to play both parts with me like that. But if you have two recorders, try. If you don't, just play with me. Just play with me. I'm gonna do that one more time because that was fun and then we're gonna be done for today. 17. Pick a part to play. You can either pick B or you can pick A. Here we go. One, two, ready, and day two of our recorder we will start next time. i'm going to do my next video on monday we're going to start with number 18 um then on on monday and we're going to go into the next two pages as well so at this point you've gotten music for pearl 
for silver and for gold levels on your tracker. Next time you'll get the emerald levels and then probably the time after that you'll get the amethyst level. Again, reminder, you can voice pass, which means you're singing and doing the fingerings on a pencil or a spoon or something that we can, that I can see you're moving your fingers correctly. You can voice pass and move up, uh, which means you just have to prove it to prove it when you get back to school with your recorder. Or if you have your recorder, you can actually move up and I'm keeping track. Um, I'm keeping track here and I'll let you know where you're at. So again, this has been day two. Hope you guys have enjoyed practicing. I'm looking forward to my next video on Monday. Yes.